Good morning. It's Tuesday, October 7th. We're going to warm up today. Today is going to be the warmest day of the week. Temperatures the next few days, starting Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, going to cool down and even some rain showers in the forecast. Snow up in Mount Shasta. Maybe a little snow up in the higher elevations of the Sierra as well. You'll see what we're talking about here. It's not a big storm, but it's a big change. So it's fall and it's acting like it. Temperatures right now, it's uh, nine or what time is it? It's uh, 730 or 745 in the morning. Temperatures right now in the Bay Area are in the mid 60s, upper 60s. We even have low 70s already. That's because the air is sinking. It's warming. It's a compressional day. Could be a high fire danger day, except we had all that rain uh, a week or so ago. Not a ton of rain, but enough to help out. So, and a little bit breezier as well. That starts tomorrow, the breezy conditions. So today warmer. Yesterday was nice. Today warmer. And then as we go into Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, cooler and then unsettling a chance of scattered showers. Today, San Francisco goes 80 degrees. Redding goes 88. Los Angeles, 76 and San Diego 72. So a little bit of tropical activity down here. Big looking storm here, and we'll keep an eye on that one. As you can see what's happening here, we got the trough here, the parent low, you got the ridge here, and then you got the trough here. And so this trough is pulling that subtropical bush. You can see it shearing off and being pulled off into the central part of the country. Uh, and then this is the system to be watching the next few days for us. Hope you're having a good day. It's beautiful out there. There is some fog back at the coast. It's mostly south of uh, Pacifica, but there you'll see that coming up on the satellite image as well. Fog should go away. Winds are pretty significantly offshore as evidenced by these current temperatures. 70 degrees right now in berkeley and it's pretty warm for this it's the morning right it's not it's before eight o'clock in the morning and we're doing 70 degrees in berkeley 72 degrees out by tracy or pardon me just yeah out by tracy out by livermore valley and then more temperatures you see up in the lake tahoe area up in the mountains it's in the the right now temperatures at 7 55 in the morning about 29 degrees in Truckee, 39 degrees um, in, uh, Palisades, very chilly, very chilly morning. I'm seeing some 27s. Look at some of these numbers. Uh, South Lake Tahoe, a higher elevations, 27 degrees, 24 degrees. So it's starting off cool. Let's check out our friends up in the Lake Tahoe or Mount Shasta area. Mm hmm. And not quite as chilly up there. Where are we in California? This map, a lot of data on this map, right? There's this. So, you know, Mount Shasta in the low 30s upper 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 20s and then there you go so we'll go ahead south and you can kind of just look at the colors it's a lot of numbers to take in but if you look at the colors you go this is cnfrc california nevada river forecast center just current temperatures and you can see the blues where it's cold in the mountains and then you can see warmer down in the flatlands and let's go all the way down here to southern california santa barbara and that's more uniform down there. So they're not really seeing, well, they got 81 degrees up in Palm Desert, but that's the desert. But pretty much uniform temperatures across the valley, uh, Ontario and San, Santa Ana. The 64 degrees right now out in Long Beach. Uh, temperatures today are going to remain in the 70s for Southern California. Here's the fog along the coast. And that fog, you can see the offshore wind, right, pushing out. Grab a sip of coffee. And you can see it getting notched out here. So that offshore wind should strengthen today. Well, and that's why the temperatures, those, those 70s we're seeing at this time of morning in the Bay Area are, are a component of that high pressure sinking air. And that sinking air pushes the winds sort of towards the north and the east. And this is a, that's a side shore, offshore wind. That should clear the coast. And you'll see here, I think it'll show it here. This is, yeah. So now here's the fog. It's already notched back a little bit. There's Montero Mountain. This is Mount Tamalpais, and this is in uh, Marin County. And you see cool right at Pacifica down towards uh, Montero and Half Moon Bay. And the fog is being set straight line. That's the wind 
the, off, the offshore wind pushing it away. And it should push it away further. I just expect in the next hour or two for that fog to be all the way down, back down to Monterey Bay. We'll see. Uh, temperatures today in Mill Valley will be in the mid-70s, upper 70s. So a very pleasant day there. San Francisco, like I said, I think we had San Francisco at 80 degrees today. So a pretty warm, beautiful day. Fall weather. I mean, when you get these days like this, it's classic fall in the Bay Area. And we're fortunate that we did have that rain prior because we do see it's not windy, but it's breezy. The conditions have picked up a little bit and, and because of the offshore wind. And they'll pick up a little bit tomorrow, but more onshore. And that marks the cooling. So the National Weather Service out of Monterey put this together. This is just on their front on their home screen. But just some of the temperatures, Vacaville, 90 degrees, Stockton, 87, South Lake Tahoe, 65, Blue Canyon, 70, Marysville, 87, Red Bluff, 87. So more temperatures. These are the forecast highs for today. And what you're going to show, I'm going to show you today's highs forecast and then tomorrow's. And you'll see the big drop in temperatures and you'll see the reds go away. So we do have a lot of red, but these temperatures are not uh, extreme. But we're not seeing heat advisory, heat warnings. Very just classic fall weather for the Bay Area, Central California, and Southern California, and the mountains, and even the desert southwest. So that's today forecast. Here's tomorrow's. And you can see the big cool down, right? And that's that wind's going to start coming northwesterly like this and brought, bring in a bunch of cooler air and that big change, which manifests itself in the potential for some scattered showers on... Um, Thursday night, Friday, we'll see. Take a look. Come on, load up, load up. I wonder if it's gonna load up for us. Hmm, best laid plans, huh? <laughs> okay, we we'll have to go all the way back. So we'll go back to, uh, we'll load up the GFS. We'll go, you know, what we got there, Let's see what we got. Okay, so this is, not the map I wanted, but it's the map we got. This is the GFS, um, and this shows this tomorrow morning right here. This is the beginning of the cooling, and you can see this kind of low area in here. You see the arrows, the little surface arrows? This is simulated precipitation, and the winds are starting to go on more on shore. And here we are Thursday morning. Some shower activity kind of sw slides by. You see the unsettledness. And then this on Friday mid-morning looks to be Thursday night into Friday looks to be perhaps something. So things are changing. Let me go back and I'll make it more easy to pick up on. Um, I'll go 500 millibar and we'll go vorticity. There we go. Okay. And so this is the low we're watching. And this is the vorticity. This is close up on, on the Bay Area or San Francisco in California. But you'll see the the this is today and tomorrow nothing going on and then those reds come in and they show up on thursday wednesdays when they night into thursday thursday into friday morning and see the dynamics is just dynamics and that's really close that's you know cloverdale ukiah that's upper air stuff and then this swings through for the best shot at uh energy for showers that swings through on saturday morning so what's it mean for the weekend yeah, hard to say. Uh, the weekend's going to be a little bit of everything. I think we're going to see plenty of um, plenty of milder temperatures, and then that Friday, Thursday night into Friday, a little bit into Saturday, scattered showers. And then we'll see that again here. This is Thursday afternoon, mid morning, Thursday afternoon, and then. Friday afternoon. So, hmm, that's a North America model. The models are funny, they didn't load up to it. That's weird. Oh well. Um, let's go with the, uh, let's take a look at the, let's see the HRRR just for giggles. And then this is going to be short range, but I don't even think it'll go very far because it's, I have to update the, okay, I'll have to use 13Z. And then we'll go in here. And what do you see from that? You just see the beginnings of that system. If we go, let's do NAM. And then if we go here. Okay, we start, yeah. And so there, Thursday afternoon, Southern California. 
America. Oh, there we go. Southern California's got some scattered shares. So, the re- I, I mean, the headline here is nice today. It's awesome yesterday. Warmer today. Saw the temperatures. Cooler than Wednesday. Transitioning to a Thursday, Friday, Saturday that has an opportunity to be unsettled and showery, but not real wet. There's not a ton of moisture with it. These are the watches and warnings for today. Freeze warnings up around the Great Lakes, frost advisories, freeze warnings in Colorado uh, or in, um, <clears throat> pardon me, Wyoming, freeze warnings in Idaho, some smoke and air quality stuff down around Louisiana and Texas. These are the forecast highs for tomorrow or for today, pardon me. And you can see it's kind of, I think probably put the jet stream in. Let's see if we do it. So here's the ridge here, cooler, so the trough here. And then see, we just grab that 90 and something like that. So this is a little, there's a trough right in here. That's why it's cooler. You can see that line. So 74 here in Oklahoma City. Dallas is 92. So the right, it's, the jet stream kind of goes right between them. This is, let's see what we got here. Central. This is Ocean Beach, I believe. Yeah. Surf pretty good. You can see the fog just sitting offshore. The inversion is ultra shallow right now, which means it's almost non-existent. Uh, beautiful day. Tide's going high. Beefy top, fat tide at about noon or so. And then it drops out pretty quick. So big tide swings today. This is Zuma Beach. Fog. And this is Mount Shasta today. More snow on Mount Shasta. Certainly, this is right now. More snow on Mount Shasta by the time we get to, um, I suspect it'll start up there by Thursday. And I think they'll, they'll get, they should get a foot of snow up there, up in this area, I would expect. So we'll keep an eye on that. That's kind of through the Saturday period. Venice Beach today will go 75 degrees, a little foggy down there right now. And then I did a check, because I wanted to make sure, because some of those temperatures were so warm this morning that I went to another source to see if I could still find some big numbers. God, these are hard to read for you, though, aren't they? Um, but, in fact, there are pretty good-sized numbers. Like, uh, where are we? 69 degrees in Mount Diablo, on Mount Diablo. Uh, 69 degrees out in Canyon. 70 degrees up in Briones. So it's warm in the morning. Okay, that's a quick one for the morning. Get you off on your day, on your weekend. And we'll do a full weather tonight at probably around 3 o'clock. See you back here.